Beware the Dragon Dune of you, destroyer of souls and harbinger of the fallen. Gem. That's what it was. Then I must be. Oh, no. You'd think a vampire would be right at home in this place. You'd be wrong. Let's just find my mother and get out of here quickly. find yourself becoming one of us. I knew I heard something. Help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Mm -hmm. Until next time. I can't imagine choosing to come here. Your mother must have been terrified. Mother! It can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it! How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Wait a moment brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? Safe? You call bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing to you? 
Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volkahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ario and his arcane weapon, Ario's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Bal. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana. And why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification, and like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. Serana? This stranger may call herself Vampire, but she knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to her? This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's... changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you'd only open your eyes. The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, you're still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again, but I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us, but we have to stop him before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Saran. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me, but for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes, I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. 
At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Durnevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The Ideal Masters have charged him with overseeing the Keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say, a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. Let's kill those keeper things and get back to the prison.
Where'd you come from?
you managed to destroy all three keepers? Very imp Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Genevieve. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. you come from? Give my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Volumes written on Dernavir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. Was that mistake? Unless... The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its own soul. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernavir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. Minutes, hours, years, I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. He's leading us to the scroll. What do you want? Follow me, this way. What did you want? I can't believe you found my mother alive. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your own. I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Korra. If 
I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sea to fruition. As much as it pains me to send you and Serana back alone, I can't take the risk. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep your daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanari. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Gwenarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the ideal masters. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. I will place my name with you, and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally and teach you my food. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quanarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. Quanarin is the vanquisher, the one who has bested a fellow Dova in battle. You are the Dova King, the Dragonborn. You may not be one of us in body, but you have earned the right to bear this title. Come on, let's go home.
You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this.